Hello everyone, welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today I want to explain and revisit a video that I created eight years ago, which is setting up advanced standard shopping campaigns in Google Ads so that you can bid differently based on the intent of the search term. For example, you would not want to bid the same for a generic search term versus a relevant search term or versus a converting search term. So by allowing to set up more advanced campaign structures, you can get a much higher return of investment because you're bidding differently based on the intent of the search term. So let's have a little deep dive on how it would functionally work. So for standard shopping campaigns, you can set the priority to high, medium or low. This means Google will first look at the high priority campaign, then look at the medium one and then at the low one meaning that if you're excluding search terms in specific campaigns, it is a flow from top to bottom. Meaning if you're setting the priority high for generic uh, search terms, here you would want to exclude all relevant search terms and set the bid to low. This means once you exclude search terms from the generic campaign, when you have set up the priority to high, it will go to the relevant campaign because that is the medium priority campaign. So it looks first at high, then at medium. And because it's not excluded again here, it will add all the relevant search terms in this campaign. So that means you can set a medium bid for all relevant search terms, while for generic search terms, you can set it to low bids. So what we can do now is exclude all converting search terms from the relevant campaign and push it down into the priority low campaign, which means all converting search terms will end up in the final campaign, which allows you to set a high bid. And this is how you can then bid based on intent of search terms. So when we want to use this, you can exclude everything manually. But of course, you can also exclude them using a script that I've developed. So when you go to feedarmy.io, and I will link this, the scripts in the description, you go to shop. And here you have two scripts, one to exclude performing search terms. This is for the generic campaign and one to exclude converting search terms. That is for the medium priority campaign. But I will go into much more detail on how to set this all up. So here I just want to show you an example how it would look like. So you've got a generic campaign, a relevant one and a buy campaign. So or converting uh, campaign. So all search terms will first go to generic. If it's excluded, it will go to the relevant one. If it's excluded again, then it will go to the buy one. So now we will want to set this all up. So what you want to do is click on the new campaign button. Choose sales as your objective. Just click on continue for your conversion goals and select shopping. Select your Google Merchant Center account. Then instead of performance max campaign, you want to select standard shopping and click on continue. So now we want to set our campaign name. As I like to keep structure, I will call it US shopping generic because this is going to be our high priority campaign. We want to keep manual CPC. We want to set the budget at whatever budget you want to set it. But this doesn't really matter at the moment because we will be using a shared budget. We want to change the campaign priority from low to high. You can exclude this. Set the location to United States or whichever country you want to uh, set it to. And then as the ad group, you, for now you can set it to all products. However, you can create multiple uh, ad groups, for example, for each product type, for each brand, etc. So the script that I'm using will exclude on the ad group level, not the campaign level. So if, for example, you have one ad group or 50 ad groups, it will iterate all ad groups and exclude the search terms for each specific uh ad group that you've created so that there's no uh, overlapping search terms from one ad group to another. For example, if you have two similar brands and for one brand uh, search term is more popular or 
converts more than the other, you will not want to exclude these from these uh, specific ad groups. So th that is why if you're excluding based on performance rather than just anything that you might want to target, you will get a much better uh, return of investment. So for now, I will just leave this as ad group one. And then for the bid, I will just set it to 10 cents. And then we click on create campaign. And now we can see all products are added here. But of course you can subdivide so that each ad group it has a different brand or product type or even a custom label. Now we want to go back to campaigns. Select all campaigns. And we want to create another one. Go to sales. We select continue. We select shopping, select your campaign again, choose standard shopping, continue. Now name this relevant. Manual CPC and we set the budget again, you can set it to five, but the campaign priority we want to set to medium. And you continue, set the bids, for example, at five, 50 cents. Create campaign. We want to click again on campaigns. Create a new campaign. We choose again sales. Continue. Shopping. Select your Google Merchant Center account. And again, standard shopping campaign. And this will be our final campaign and we will call this converting set the budget and this can stay at low uncheck that and the bids for example one dollar create campaign now we want to assign a shared budget to all three campaigns the reason why we want to do that is to avoid one campaign to run out of budget because once a campaign runs out of budget the priority settings will no longer work properly because as you can imagine if there is no budget in one campaign it will go to another and that will mess up the whole structure so we want to go to tools budgets and bidding shared budgets i've already created one but we'll create a new one and just call this shopping two and we want to select all our shopping campaigns that we just created and then click on save and as you can see now we have all three campaigns with a shared budget so now in this case one campaign will not stop working when the budget runs out so this is required so now you can in theory manage this manually by excluding relevant search terms in the generic campaign and then in the relevant campaign you can exclude converting uh, search terms however to make this effective you should do this every day and of course that is a big task so that is why i created the script so what we want to do is go to tools bulk actions scripts we want to click on new script and then we want to paste our code from uh, the website onto here. So this is for the generic campaign. You can set your own minimum CTR and minimum impressions. For example, if there is a search term that has 100 impressions and the CTR is above 0.6%, then it will exclude it automatically from the generic campaign so that it can land in the relevant campaign. So you can set your requirements here as you please. So what you want to do is just authorize the script, save it, and then set the ad scheduling. So you can do that by going to scripts. And then here frequency, you can set it to daily. So now what we want to do is also exclude automatically the converting search terms. So we want to do again, click on new script. And here we want to paste the script and then 
campaign contains relevant. That means that it will only look at the relevant campaign. And then if there is a conversion in this campaign, it will then exclude that search term from the relevant campaign so that it lands in the converting campaigns. And again, you authorize it, you save it, and then you set the scheduling. So make sure it sets it to just once per day should be more than enough. So this is just an example. Now, of course, these impressions are quite low because this campaign has changed in setup. However, let's assume that this is a good performing uh, search term and we want to exclude it automatically. Now, let's first remove this one from the negative keywords. Edit, remove. So you can see it no longer is in this account. So we want to base it off 40 impressions and then above 0.6 CTR. And then if we look at the preview, we will see it excluded in the log. There we go. So that is the search term we want to exclude. So now if we run this properly, we will see this keyword excluded again in this campaign. Here we go. And it is excluded. And you can see it's excluded at the ad group level. And that is what we want. We don't want to exclude it on the campaign level so that you can have multiple ad groups uh, being excluded. Now we want to see if this also works on the converting search terms, of course. So let's go and have a look at this campaign. So we go to the relevant campaign go to the search terms and sort by conversions so here we can see that this search term is converting and it is currently excluded so let's just go and remove this exclusion and this is a script for excluding conversion so you don't really need to do anything however if you want to change the campaign name for example from relevant to something else then of course you need to change that as well so when we preview we will see that the search term we just removed will be in the log here we go so if we then run this properly we will see that this is excluded. And we can see that the search term has been excluded onto the ad group that we want. And that is how it should work on the standard shopping campaign. So two scripts, one script to exclude the relevant search terms from the generic campaign, and the second script to exclude from the relevant campaign all converting search terms so that it ends up in the buy campaign so that you can bid differently based on the intent of the search term. So that's it for the scripts and how to set up advanced standard shopping campaigns. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.